going on guys? It is Vape Tech Unbox, and today I'm gonna be going over my top five most used iPhone 7 cases for the month of March. Y'all know if you've been watching my videos, I try to get one of these videos out once a month so that way I can show you guys the cases that I've been using, and these are like my solid five. I only use five for the entire month. It's hard because I have so many cases, but I try to use different cases every month so that way I can give you guys a nice little review about them and that way it can help you guys make a choice if you're looking for a case to stick on your new iPhone. Okay, so with that said, before we jump into this video, I just wanna say I hope y'all are having a fantastic day or night wherever you are, and I love you guys, but you already know that. Now let's jump into this video. All right, let's start off with the first case that I've been using in the month of March. Bam, this one is the Tudia. It looks like this, very clean, thin, minimal case. You got some company branding right up here. This one's cool, it's like a matte material, but it, it feels really good on your phone. It hugs your phone pretty tightly. You get a little bit of protection, but I mainly use this when I don't wanna use a heavy case or like a big thick case. This is the one I'll throw on my phone. If I know I'm gonna be careful, not gonna be dropping my phone, it goes in here. This one looks so sick on the matte black iPhone. You guys are gonna check it out right now. But this is the Tudia. If you guys want information on any of these cases, make sure you go check out that description because I will leave the link to every single one of these cases down there so you guys can figure out the prices. That way you guys can read up more on them, whatever. It's all down there in the description. If you guys want full unboxings and mini reviews on all these cases, I have done a video on all of them. So make sure you guys go check out that. I'll leave a playlist link right here for you guys for my iPhone 7 cases. So if you guys wanna check those videos out, it'll be right there. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get this iPhone. I've been using the Rhino Shield now a lot since I got it. I can tell you guys right now, the Rhino Shield has been one of my favorite cases. I don't know. It's probably second to the Spec case, the Spec Presidio Grip, but this is definitely in my top three for sure. Let's go ahead and throw the Tudia case on the phone. Let's check it out. So I just picked up this screen protector. I did a video on it. If you guys want any information on this screen protector, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll also leave a card for you guys to check out. This has been my favorite. It was only $8, it came with two. Man, the best screen protector I have put on this phone so far. It's no fingerprint, no smudge. Everything is so responsive. Yeah, it's a sick one. So the Tudia case, this is what it looks like on the phone. You get that little like smoky, smoked out back here, which I think looks dope. You have your cutout for your Apple, a nice large cutout for your camera and your flash. Cutouts are legit. Now the front bezels are lifted very little, so you wanna be careful not to drop this from too high. Very little raise on the front bezels, but the buttons are very clicky, nice responsive clicks you get. Mute rocker is very large, so you don't really need your nails. You can really get there with your finger. But this is all around just a nice case. It hugs your phone pretty tightly, it's nice and thin. It feels great in your hand, and it looks good. So that one's the Tudia. There's that one. All right, which one's next? Let's see. So the next one I've been rocking for the month of March is the UAG. This is the Plasma Series in Citroen. Here's what it looks like. Pretty sick, and I got it because most of my gym gear is the vault green and black. So now this is definitely my new gym case. Definitely looks sick. UAG is an awesome brand, very protective cases. You can see the front bezels, they are raised pretty high off that screen protector. So you've got that front screen protection if you happen to drop your phone. You got a very large and deep cutout for your camera and your flash. Cutouts, now with the UAG cases, these cases do fit the iPhone 6 and the 6S, so you still get the headphone jack cutout. That doesn't bother me too much, it might bother some. So if that's gonna be bothersome for you, definitely don't buy it, but honestly, I own a lot of UAG cases and that really does not bother me. The power button is flush, but it has a little texture design on it, but you get a nice little tactile feedback. And then the volume buttons are kind of raised, as you can see here, but you also get that nice clicky feedback. Your mute rocker cutout is pretty deep, so you have to use your fingernails to get into that one, but it is kind of big, so. But this is a nice little rugged looking case. It also has very nice protection. This case has saved my butt a few times. So definitely a nice case. It's pretty thin when you're holding it in your hands. You can't really feel too much thickness. It feels great in your hands, still super thin. So definitely one of my top five favorite cases of all time. 
So that one is the UAG. That one is Plasma and Citrum. Now let's take a look at my third. Bam, this one is the Incipio case. This is the Dual Pro. Now this one has a lot of protection. You get a lot of protection with this bad boy. Front bezels are raised very, very high off that screen, which is nice because it's gonna save you from front screen protection. Nice big cutout for your camera and your flash. The cutouts on the bottom are legit and on point. Your buttons, very clear and very responsive and that goes for your volume buttons as well. Your mute rocker is kind of easy to get to. You do need to use your nails a little bit to get to that one. Now, my only gripe with this case is that you can see everything. Like you can already see the little wear and tear that I've been putting it through for this month. You can see some scratches. You can see some stains. If you eat something greasy, it's definitely gonna stick to this case. You got some company branding here, which doesn't bother me. The only thing that really bothers me is it's very slippery. So very slippery. It's pretty thick. It's a nice thick case So when you hold it in your hand, you're gonna feel that thickness I mean it just shows a lot anything that you put on your fingers is going to be transferred on to this case So that's the only thing I don't like about this case, but I did use it a lot I'm gonna be doing a comparison between this one and the spec So I wanted to give this one a fair chance because I've been using the spec a lot So I wanted to give this one a fair chance and you can already see the wear and tear that I've put it through for the month of March But there that one is that one is the Incipio Dual Pro case. All these cases are pretty easy to get on and off, so that's nice. All right, the second favorite case is, bam, this one's the UAG, this one's the Monarch series in Midnight. This one is sick. It's so classy, yet it still looks very rugged. Now it has like five layers of protection, I believe, and it has this nice little leather material on the inside here. You got real legit screws, honeycomb padding on the sides for some extra grip. You have little honeycomb padding on the inside for shock absorption. This is a pretty heavy duty case, but when it is on your phone, it is a little on the thick side, but it's not too bad. And it's not too much thicker than the original Plasma series. It's not too bad. I mean, you can tell there is definitely a difference, but when it's in your hand, I mean, you can't tell too much. There's not too much of a difference. I will take that though. I will take that trade off for the look and the protection of this case. Because of this honeycomb grip here, you have nice grip on it. So when it's in your hand, it feels really nice. The back just looks so classy. Classy, yet you know you're gonna get that heavy-duty protection. You got raised bezels for front screen protection. Really nice big cutout for your camera and your flash. Cutouts, now on this one, it's the same thing, so you're gonna get that headphone jack cutout, but if it doesn't bother you, you know, not a big deal. It hugs tightly against your phone, so that it's in there pretty good. Buttons, very clicky, Very, you get a nice feedback to these. They're really soft clicks too. You get really gentle, soft clicks, which I like. And that goes for the volume up, volume down. The volume the volume rocker is really big. You can easily just get it with your finger. You don't even have to use your nail. So that's good and that is one of my favorite cases. This one was the second most used case for the month of March. This one's dope though guys. This one is definitely dope. This is a pretty pricey case though. It's like 60 bucks. But if you can get it on sale or something, I would definitely grab it. But I think it's worth the 60. Just look at it, it's just, I don't know, it just looks so sick. And then the midnight black color, it's all black. I'm totally digging this case. So that's the UAG Monarch. And my first favorite case and most used case for the month of March is the Spec Presidio Grip. Now, the Rhino Shield Playproof is giving this one a run for its money for sure, because this one has been my top favorite ever since I unboxed it. I try to keep it on my phone as much as possible because I truly, truly like this case. Now let's put it on the phone. This one fits your phone like a glove. Now you just saw the pressure I had to put to get it in. It fits like a glove. There is no wiggle room. It fits so good. You have this material here that is kind of raised off the case. That's gonna give you extra grip. You also have that same pattern on the back for extra grip. But when this is in your hand, it just feels so good. This color the graphite gray looks dope with the matte black phone. You have a matte finish back, so it's no more candy shell. It's more of like a matte material. You have your little company branding at the corner. It's hardly visible, which I like. Cutouts are legit on the bottom. The buttons though, they're like a little rubber material. They are so responsive. It feels so good and that's 
Same goes for the volume up and volume down. Your mute rocker has a nice big cutout, easy to get to. You also get a generous big cutout for your camera and your flash. And then the front bezels are lifted high. So not only does this case look good, not only does it add extra protection and extra grip, but it's going to add amazing drop protection. So you get really good drop protection with this case. This case is just an all around win. Like it's just an all around great case and it looks so good. I think these patterns for the grip, that looks sick. I'm so glad they decided to make it look a little bit more pleasing by putting them going different angles and stuff. I think that looks really sick. But anyways, that's the Spec Procedio Grip, my top favorite case and most used for the month of March. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here you got a good look at my top five most used cases for the month of March. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to show me some love and dab the like button. Thank you guys for watching. I really truly appreciate your guys' support and I appreciate you guys coming back and watching my videos. It means a ton. Subscribe if you guys would like. Make sure to put a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about these cases. And if you have any case suggestions that you guys wanna see me check out so that way I can help you out when you're shopping for a new case. So yeah, put any suggestions down below and I will do my best to pick it up. If you guys are into pranks, challenges, and vlogs, go check out mine and Nicole's channel. The link for that will be down below in the description. If you guys want to show Nicole some love, her channel link will also be down below in the description. Make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media accounts. I love each and every single one of you guys. You guys stay freaking dope and I will catch you guys in the next video.